We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Right, everybody, welcome back to First Look. This is Coastal News' episode where we look at the synopsis of all the episodes coming up on Channel 5 uh five star and my five however you watch your your home and away however get you get your binge on um we're gonna have a look at what's coming up we're gonna try and decipher some of the cryptic clues um and the spoilers and there will be spoilers in this there always is just to warn you i'm gonna try and work out what's happening in the next sort of five days are you ready si oh born ready go on born ready (laughs) are you having a good day yes are you yeah good thank you Oh, yes. Good. So, do you want an episode number? Bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're ca- counting on your fingers. I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then seven. I know it's a seven because we're not quite at eight yet. Seven, a seven, nine, eighty-three or something. Oh, so close. 7982. Oh, damn it. So close. I suppose <laughs> we've been in a while because we've been really bad at this lately. <laughs> we, had, we had one week where we got like spot on each. And then, what happened? <laughs> I don't, we can't count. That's what happened. We can't remember and we can't count. So, yeah, no, 7982. So, this okay. is <gasps> steaming our way to that 8,000. I'm so excited. I know. And that's going to be our blockbuster bl- week. Buster week. <laughs> yeah, we should mention that actually. Anybody that does watch on the My5 app, if you look for what was it we go- what was it we looked up on the My5 app? I can't remember because it doesn't come up under Home and Away. It came up under something. Was it Blockbuster Week or something? It came under. Um, it's something strange. I'm getting it up now. Uh... It wasn't called Home and Away because I've got my I've got on the My Five app I've got Home and Away favorited and it isn't listed in there and when I looked for Home and Away it wasn't listed but the trailer is under something else isn't it? It was yeah you're right. Um, Was it coming soon or? Um, Oh, it might have been. Yeah, there was there was a there was a big blockbuster trailer on the My Five. what did we have yeah. to search to find it? I can't remember. I remember you texting me and telling me, and I was like, oh, yeah, that worked. I'm just getting the Black Death coming up. I don't know oh, if no. that's an omen. Yeah, or Scylla Black, the Queen of Saturday Night. <laughs> 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 Channel 5, everybody. <laughs> um, I don't know. Find it, people. Let us know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe it. we'll put it on Twitter if we can find it. Yeah. But I, I'll have I a didn't look later. find it. It wasn't in the normal Home and Away place on the My Five app. No, but is... it did appear at the end of a Home and Away episode on there for me. It did, yeah. But the, yeah. it had the actual trailer that you could just play on its own. And it wasn't yeah. under the normal uh, place. No. So don't know why but anyway oh. coming up to, to episode 8000 as you said that is our blockbuster week we've been promised oh. high drama for that week so we're looking forward to that but we, we are, are about we're about not 20, long to go 20 episodes away aren't we so about four weeks ish mm. yeah. yeah so let's have a look at what's what's the preamble up to the uh, the big old blockbuster week so this week on monday at 6 30 on five star we've got Gabe fears the worst. Well, we know he's fearing the worst, don't we? Because he's fearing that the cancer's returned. So we know what that's about. That's not that cryptic, is it? Yeah, but I don't trust any of it. No. I'm, I, I sound cold, don't I? But I think it's all a scam. Yes, I just don't think... I think it's I think it's normal for us to have this reaction. As we said on the pod yesterday, he's not been written in a way that makes us feel like he's a nice person, that we care about him, that we are invested in his character, that we want him to mm. stick around, that we think he's good for Mac. None of that. So I don't know how we're supposed to feel, really. Mm-hmm. But there we go. Uh, Rose gets grilled by Marley's sister. Oh, dear. <laughs> Now, you were saying on the main pod yesterday that this family is a bit strange to you and you don't really understand why the sister's getting so involved, turning up on the doorstep, two-hour drive to come and see Marley bang on his door. And now Rose is getting grilled by the sister. When Have we even... Marley and Rose, have they even 
done the whole labeling what they are are they boyfriend girlfriend yet or are they just oh. no she's only she's only just put out to him the big stiff <laughs> as i described her um <laughs> <laughs> she's only just put out right and she didn't even stay the night like the sister's banging on the door now the sister's grilling her like if I was Rose I'd be like nah soz <laughs> I'm going to reactivate this smolder I was going to say what other options has she got in the bay at the moment nothing really mm, so there'll be another see. serial killer along before before time <laughs> You know, <laughs> wait out, wait it out, love. Yeah, um, wouldn't you? I, I, IRL, like sister of, <laughs> of someone you've just been dating gets all up in your grill. No yeah. thanks. I'd be <laughs> like, no, I get stuffed. I don't have to I, add to even you. Even after 10 years, if it happened, I'd be gone. <laughs> 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 I don't put up with stuff like that. No thanks. <laughs> Drama. I, I like a quiet life. Thanks. I don't want to be banging yeah. on the door and grilled. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to see. Alandra, see how that goes. Coastal news have told you. <laughs> Rack off Tra- back to Hinky Dinkyville. <laughs> <laughs> You're on one today. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm dying. laughs> oh god where'd the cough come back uh, okay moving on <laughs> Ava's obsession breaks Justin's heart oh the scrapbook of doom so we saw in the first look episode on Friday 5 star 6.30 right at the end it showed us a little glimpse of next week didn't it and it showed mm-hmm. us Kirby's found Ava's psycho stalker scrapbook thing in her bag she's flipped through it there's a page that says i heart Thea in massive black letters so hopefully she's put two and two together she's realized that she's the stalker and we've seen a clip of justin saying you're the creepy fangirl to ava <laughs> to his own daughter he calls her a creepy fangirl so this is coming up this week so this must be what well, that's you know about. that line you've just read, like where it breaks Justin's heart. Mm. So like it's just in a bit like, oh, she she, did, she never came here to see me. She came no. here just to get. Oh, I no. think I think it's my daughter is a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> that's enough to break a dad's heart, I think. Yeah. Okay. I don't I, know. I'm, I'm, lean, I'm leaning. I'm leaning. I'm leaning to the more like she never came to see me after all. <laughs> she came she came to just be close to Theo. I mean, we didn't really talk about it much, but Leah sort of arrived from Cyprus unannounced mm. and a, a scene right through it within 30 seconds or so. Yes, because like... Leah caught her in um Leah came in the house and she she obviously got the mm-hmm. bus from the airport. <laughs> Did you see that? There was a very, very quick blink and you miss it scene. Ava was um in her bedroom. She was just about to come out with that skimpy dress on. Justin was on the phone to Leah. He was saying something about picking her up from the airport. Ava struts out in that pink dress and Justin just goes, okay, baby, get the bus. (laughs) Tits tits McGee. Justin literally, (laughs) he was on the phone and Justin went, okay, baby, can you get the bus? Bye. (laughs) Hung up on (laughs) Leah, who's probably fuming on the other end, by the way. Um, doesn't realise what's happening, doesn't even know Ava's there at this point, does she? She doesn't know that till she gets home. And then obviously Justin then says, What are you wearing? We're not going out dressed like that. So we know that Leah was on her way on the bus by the sound of things. When she arrives home, she thinks the house is empty. She's shouting for Justin, isn't she? Ava's in Theo's bedroom. She'd been taking them weird photos of herself on his bed. <laughs> in his, <laughs> she, in his, wearing his clothes. Wearing his dirty yeah. shirt. <laughs> yeah, and put his clothes on. She's she's trying to be quiet, but she knocks something over, doesn't she? And then Leah opens the door. So she finds Ava, who she didn't even know was there, in Theo's bedroom with the door shut, you know, and then she's questioning it. Like she says to Justin, doesn't she, in the, in the first look that we saw, she was in, a, in his bedroom with the door shut saying she was getting a charger. And Justin <laughs> said something like, well, we've got bigger things to worry about than a charger. And, and, and Leah's blatantly trying to say, yeah. No, this this was weird. Why was she in there with the door shut if she was just grabbing a charger? She was obviously yeah. up to some, something else. Yeah, she's yeah. Leah's seen through it, hasn't she? Thank God, someone is. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. 
So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But yeah, he breaks his heart. Mm. Uh, okay, then we've got <laughs> Ziggy delivers Gabe a bitter pill to swallow. What? How's Ziggy got involved with Gabe? Oh, okay. So <laughs> Gabe is going out with Mac. Mac lives with Ziggy. So yeah, this this does make sense. I was thinking, how do they even cross paths? He might stay over or something. Yeah. A unless she's pill. Lit- um, unless she's literally making him take his radiotherapy <laughs> pills. <laughs> Oh, God, that's a bit dark, isn't it? No, it's probably <laughs> metaphorical pill. Mm, I agree. Mm. Mackenzie won't give up on the future. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too wound up. I can't even comment. <laughs> Should we just skip on? <laughs> yeah, let's just skip can't, on. Yeah, I can't speak. Okay. Uh, will Nico and Bella get a second shot at love? <gasps> Yeah, I reckon they will. I, yeah, I, want, they're gonna... I want them to reconcile and yeah. sail off into the sunset. Sail away, sail yes. away, sail, sail away, away, sail away, sail away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're up for that. We're up for seeing that. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, and I'm done with Theo anyway. Uh, not Theo, <laughs> Nico. Nico, yeah. Between the flags. <laughs> Between the flags. <laughs> oh no, who's going to shout that if Nico leaves? Don't know. Are we going to get Don't a new know. lifeguard? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Ooh. I hope so. Anyway, not that we want to replace you immediately, but we do. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Nico. Need... Better be good looking, no, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, right. So the next line Felicity's strong facade crumbles. Now, I don't think she's been putting up a very strong facade, I'll be honest. I was I about she... to say. I don't think it'd take much to crumble, but yeah. I mean, if if we can't describe what's been happening late, lately as crumbling, I don't know what we can describe it as. Mm. Jesus wept. Yeah. I would describe it as an absolute hot mess. It's an absolute meltdown mode. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense to me. But what is strong. her what, what is what is her strong facade or, what, about being what? a bitch? Against... <laughs> being a bitch. <laughs> being a bitch to Tane is her strong facade. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the the whole who, being vile mm-hmm. to him. Maybe she, maybe she finally says, "Who's she d- being strong for here?" This, this, this doesn't. This is a bit straight. This is a bit <laughs> off. No this. idea. Got no idea. No idea. We're gonna have to watch it, aren't we? Um, so moving if, on. If, 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 if I must. <laughs> if we have to, I think we do have to because we have to talk <laughs> about it on on the podcast. <laughs> Them's the rules. Yeah, we watch on. it so other people don't need to. Um, <laughs> Brie, oh, Brie worries Remy's musical return is premature. So he's obviously picked up a guitar again. Hand is the hand a, a bother? Oh, maybe. Are you, th- are you still thinking we should amputate that hand? I'd have had it off weeks. I've told you, <laughs> I've had that. I'd have had it off weeks ago. It'd have been bionic. If I was writing this script by now. <laughs> He'd be a Terminator by now, wouldn't he? Gosh, full exoskeletal <laughs> replacement. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Bella fears saying goodbye to Nico again. So she's fearing saying goodbye to Nico. So she, we know that she's only here for a few days because she tells us that on one of the episodes, doesn't she? She says she's only here for a week or something. So she's worrying about... The feels are coming she, back, maybe. The feels are coming yeah. back for Nico. And she's got to get oh, on that plane again and say do goodbye think she's again. asked him to go and he sort of said, oh, my brothers, me uncles, yeah. you know, in a bad place. and Yeah, not a good time for me to go. I've got a job. John, That's the John's thing with the Paratas. Yeah, the Paratas, they, they put it, they, you know, I mean, it, it's admirable in some ways. That they put each other at the absolute first, you know, like family, family, family. Mm. But it it does seem to be at the detriment of relationships, doesn't it? It does. But there's not many of them left now, is there? That's the thing. Mm. Now that the um, Ari and the other brother whose name has gone out of my brain, now they've gone. um, There's not many paratas. uh, We get the feeling there's paratas in New Zealand, but in... Summer Bay, there's only the two of them, isn't there now? 
Yeah, and I think that I mean, and and that might mean that if Neek wants to go with Bella, he'll feel guilt about doing so. He will at the moment because obviously Tane's life has just turned to absolute shit, hasn't it? Yeah, so... yeah, complete dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Charlie. But it's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, right. Okay. So Eden pours her heart out for cash. For Finally. Cash. Pours her for heart cash. out for cash, not to cash. Mm. Did you did you see this week when Cash was being so nice to Flick and Eden was just looking on like, oh, I love him so much. Yeah, I think she's starting to she's starting to get the memories, isn't she? But I think she might be yeah. starting to get the feelings attached to them yeah. as well. Yeah, there were some hints this week. Mm. Mm. Looking at him. Maybe she's trying to work out what is it that I fell for, you know, trying to dissect why yeah. did I fall for him? And you know, you you would you'd overthink it, wouldn't you? You'd think well, yeah. yeah. What is it that I like about him? And yeah. is it this? Um he seems to be nice to his sister. That yeah. sounds which is a yeah. positive definitely yeah yeah absolutely Tane's loneliness catches Felicity's eye gosh <laughs> she finally noticed someone that's not herself was he having a tummy tank and she <laughs> saw him <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to up our explicit warning rating on the podcast I'm sorry no it's not you <laughs> we've been terrible today <laughs> Oh dear. I don't know what that's about, but now that's all I can think. <laughs> that's an image, isn't it? It is. I'm loving it. <laughs> okay, moving on. Codeine's, <laughs> Codeine's happy family be ripped apart. Ooh, so Dean's happy family oh, be ripped apart. That. So this is, it, I'd say family was Dean, Ziggy, and the baby, but. Yeah. Is this related to the Bella thing or? Oh, I don't know. Not sure. That's Hang very cryptic. So who was? Um, that's a weird one. That's a curveball. Who was Ziggy dishing out advice to a minute ago? Ziggy was was giving in Gabe an earful or delivering a bitter pill to swallow to Gabe. Oh, maybe it's a Mac Dean rift rather than a Mac Ziggy mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. or Dean Ziggy. As, as Ziggy took sides with someone. Uh... Yeah, so if Diggy's had a go, if Diggy, if Ziggy has had a go at Gabe, and obviously mm. Max took exception to that, then Mac might be warring with mm. Dean, Dean and Ziggy, maybe. Mm, that could, yeah, that could be, could be, it could be any of those, really, couldn't it? But that sounds exhausting. <laughs> yeah, and plausible. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It does sound plausible. Mm, could happy family be ripped apart? Okay, we'll have to see what happens. Cash and Eden are wrapped in a love bubble. <gasps> I'm Ooh. here for this. Finally, we got there. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, yeah. Are they, are um, they having a week weekend in bed? Are they going to the dodgy motel? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, that's that's turned around quite quickly. I fancy hasn't it? a weekend in bed. Been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, guilt-stricken Felicity flees. Right. So she's legged it somewhere because she's looked at Tarney, realised that she's completely broken him. <laughs> I'm not going back to the. <laughs> you can do that. In I'm your head. sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm going back there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's realised that she's broken this poor man and she's obviously yeah she's decided to, that she feels guilty and she's done a very flick thing and she's legged it is what I'm reading there Uh huh. I wonder where she's going and how long for mm. and then the last line of the week is Ziggy puts family first for Dean so there is something kicking up here then Ziggy puts family first for Dean so is this Mac and Gabe, she's decided to, whatever beef she had with Gabe, she's decided to swallow it because. Is it Karen? Is this their exit? Oh, Karen. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything. This is the thing. I don't actually know how or why they leave. I know they leave. Spoiler alert for anybody that's still here. Um, 
so I know Diggy leaves. I don't know where they go, and I don't know why. So I actually don't know the reason why why they leave. Have you seen anything? No, I just know it it's within the next few episodes because uh, of the timing of a okay of a certain event. Ooh, okay. I I I purposefully haven't read anything about this because I wanted to be surprised. It is um, very soon, like like. We're, on, we're in single digits. Really? Oh my gosh! But yeah. the, we've not even got a hint of them going yet. So this so is a what? really, this is a re- really quick departure. Like one minute they're in the show, next minute the house is empty. Yeah. So what's going on here? What's happened? Ooh, we're just trying to decipher. I don't know. So mm. family. So you think it's a Karen thing? Well, that 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 to me suggests she's she's putting. Read it again, sorry. It says, Ziggy puts family first for Dean. Hmm. Maybe they're moving closer to Karen then. That's only up the road though, isn't it? Has the surfing surfing thing re-risen and she's decided to go with Dean? Uh, It's a bit shit about it. I don't know. We've had worse. That that's weird. Mm. Uh, we're gonna uh, again. We're just gonna have to watch it unfold, aren't we, to get the truth? And next week we'll be like, oh my god, yeah, mm. yeah. It's gonna be really obvious. Been, like when yeah, we forgot that us. Rose went out with Tex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were like, oh, why doesn't she like men? Oh, <laughs> about ten minutes after we finished recording, we remembered that she went out with Tex, didn't we? Never mind. We'll probably have a light bulb moment in about ten minutes, and I'll text you going, oh yeah, we we forgot X, Y, or Z. 